Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechCurro. In this video, I'm going to do the battery rating test in the Realme GT2 device. Yes, friends, this is my day one of using the Realme GT2 smartphone and right now I'm going to play the battery runs mobile game. So let's find out how is the battery rating is happening while playing in the battery runs mobile game and how is the temperature is maintaining in this device with the Snapdragon 888 processor, so which is present in this device. So that's what I'm going to uh, exactly demonstrate in this video. And right now the stopwatch has been started successfully. And I'll let me show you the temperatures right now. You can see it's showing about 38 degrees Celsius initial temperatures. So don't worry friends, even my room temperature is also pretty high. It's kind of close to 34 and 35 degrees Celsius because right now it's summertime, right? That's the reason. It's pretty high temperatures at this moment. And battery charge to 100%. Let's do the 60 FPS complete uh, battery reading test in this device. So I'll be selecting with the smooth and extreme settings throughout this time. And brightness, I'll try to select to the 50% brightness. So exact 50% brightness I'm trying to use and throughout this match I'll be playing only the classic match So which is a angle map which I'll try to play at this moment Which is also requested by a lot of other subscribers ask me to play the angle map only while performing this kind of testing Let's see even how much high temperatures the phone can increase and what will be the overall uh, Performance levels in this device as well while doing this kind of testing and I'll be connecting to the Wi-Fi connection There are two different battery draining tests so first with the Wi-Fi connection, second with the 4G connection. So again, I'll try to do another video regarding 4G connection. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested. But right now, let's focus on this Wi-Fi connection uh, test. And there is no GT mode enabled right now. So GT mode is not enabled at this moment exactly. So I'm going to be back after some time, friends. But let's do the one drop test exact and let's find out how is the FPS going to maintain in this device. Let's do the drop test exactly in the poaching key and let's see what's going to happen regarding the FPS test right now. So friends, regarding the performance, the Snapdragon 88 processor in terms of the benchmarks and everything, it's kind of completely lower in this device. But let's find out in this gaming, is there any difference or not? Temperature already increased to 39 degrees Celsius. So volume I'll try to keep a little bit volume but not much but just a little bit. Let's try to do the test exactly in the poaching key map. As you can see right now I'm trying to do the drop test. So here's a quick drop test in the poaching key map using the Realme GT Neo GT2 device. Not Neo but normal GT2. So right now you can see the FPS dropped to 51, the FPS dropped to 51, 52. So 52 is the value which we got right now exactly. 52 in this device, 56. So right now I'll try to play the game friends continuously in this uh, device and let's find out how is overall FPS gonna maintain. But right now it feels like pretty smooth, like not bad. Wow, that's pretty good. Like very smooth experience I'm getting. That may be because of the touch sampling rate or I'm not sure what's going on, but yes, it feels slightly kind of smoother. So I'm going to be back after some time, friends, maybe close 15 and 20 minutes of time. Then we can discuss exactly the temperature readings and how much the battery got dropped during this process of demonstration as well. So I'll be back after 15 and 20 minutes of time. Then we can check the temperature readings and right now I'll try to play continuously the game. I won't expect it. I will try to play the game non-stop. I will be back after 15 minutes. Right now as you can see friends, I have been playing the game non-stop for about uh, 17 minutes of time as well. And let me show you what is the battery percentage, how much it got dropped exactly right now. Right now the battery dropped to 98% as you can see friends, 98% after 78 17 minutes, not bad. So 2 percent is decreased, 97 just now it dropped and temperatures 44 degrees Celsius, it's slightly kind of increasing high temperatures, 43.6 just for 17 minutes of time. 43 and 44 temperatures I'm detecting right now. And this just only with the 60 FPS, not with the 90 FPS, only with 60 FPS only I'm trying to play the game. And this is the score exactly I got, again I'll be back after some time. So 
So let's see friends how much the battery will be draining in next 30 minutes of time. This is a test using with the Wi-Fi connection and you should definitely remember this phone is a day one of usage only, day one. So I will be back after 30 minutes of time. And one more quick note, let's try to use the gyro sensors. Let's enable that and let me show you exactly. You can see not much delay is happening. It's kind of pretty cool regarding the gyro sensor as well. Not bad regarding the sensor. As you can see from the gyro sensor which is working pretty fine i can be back after 30 minutes right now as you can see friends, we did reach kind of close to exactly 30 minutes of time right now i'll try to check the temperatures and battery percent how much the phone did reach during this process let me do right now as you can see we we'll see friends overall fps and let me show you exactly the battery percent how much the phone reached the battery percent of the 30 minutes of time reached to 92 percentage so 8 percent is decreased for just 30 minutes of time 8 percent and the temperature increased up to 45 degrees celsius right now out, outside temperature is showing about 44 degrees so on the back side 43 and 44.4 is the highest using with the 60 fps right now i'm trying to play the game with the wi-fi data connection not with the 4g connection In next upcoming videos, definitely I'll try to do with the test using with the 4G connection as well. Stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested. Regarding the 4G data connection as well. Right now with the Wi-Fi connection, this is a speed test. This is a battery draining test, which we got right now. Overall, here and there I did observe the couple of uh, frame drops happen, like 52 and 54, somewhere around that sometimes, but not all the time. So I can be back after close to 45 minutes of time, then we can discuss more details. But right now in 30 minutes, the battery dropped by 8%. So if you try to consider, if you try to take this into the like average, loaf, just uh, consider as for every 30 minutes, the battery will be draining by 8%. So for one hour, it will be draining by 16%, right? So 100 divided by 16, 6.25 hours you can actually play. Maybe it's more than six hours, slightly. So which is not bad, I would say for the continuous gaming, so which is exactly similar for the Realme GT Neo 2 as well. Realme GT Neo 2 also with the same 5000 mAh battery. Same 6 hours I used to get the battery once mobile game. I think same thing is happening even in the Realme GT 2 as well regarding the battery draining. Not bad. So I can be back after 45 minutes of continuously playing the game. Right now, as you can see, friends, after playing for about close to 54 minutes of time, the battery dropped to 84% right now. As you can see, and the temperature remains to be exactly 44 and 45 degrees Celsius. Right now, which is going on exact events, 42.8. So definitely, definitely regarding the temperatures, it seems to be kind of uh, slightly higher because of the summer season as well, because right now my tone temperature is 34 degrees Celsius anyway. So let's do the one more uh, quick FPS drop test in the Realme GT 2 device, exactly. So here's a quick FPS drop test again in the Pochinki map. Let's see if this time what will be the overall FPS can be maintained in this device, exactly. So right now we're getting about 59 FPS, 58 and 59. You can clearly see friends, the FPS count how much it's maintaining. 59, 57. 56, 51 is the lowest value, 51.
So, so far, friends, I did see about 51 is the lowest value I, did, I have seen in this device. In the Realme GT 2 device. So this is friends, thank you for watching and straight for more updates and meanwhile signing off this is a quick FPS drop test in the Realme GT2 device in the Pochenki map exactly. So let me know, I'll definitely do the upload the video on the bootcamp as well. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested on the bootcamp. Meanwhile signing off until instead of more updates and right now FPS dropped to 45 FPS as well just now. While running just now it dropped 45. Right now, as you can see, we did reach about close to one hour of time right now. Exactly in the Realme GT2 device. One hour of time. Let me show you exactly what's the battery dropped. So right now, it dropped to 82 percentage for one hour of gaming continuously and temperature remains to be around 44 degrees Celsius toward this time 44 and 45. You can clearly see when the GPU is not utilizing much. GPU is used only utilizing a single digit, like 10% and 9% that's it. GPU, but the CPU is utilizing slightly kind of more, not bad. And that's it friends, thank you for watching. This is a quick battery rating test and the temperature test in the Realme GT2 device while playing for about one hour of time. So these were the statistics which we got right now. And gyro sensor works perfectly all right in this device, no other issues. So in case if you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching this video friends and see you in the next video on Lens Trading for more updates and signing off and bye. And this was the final battery percentage exactly after one hour of continuously playing the battery on mobile game. As you can clearly see friends, 81 percentage after one hour of time. Thank you for watching this video and these are the quick details about the Gameplay test. Meanwhile, signing off until then. Stay tuned for more updates and bye.